hey guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome so this video is going to start off a little weird because i actually spent my morning um during this filming cleaning my master bedroom giving it a deep clean and then i accidentally deleted my footage so yeah i am really upset about it i can't believe i did that and i got such good footage at least i think i did but this is where i am starting off after deleting my footage what i had already done was um clean my walls and my baseboards as you could see i still have my little bucket here my ladder and i had already cleaned um you know the walls the baseboards i started with my furniture and what happened was my memory card said um read that it was full so i went to remove it and i thought well let me delete some images that i don't need and i just did the wrong thing i deleted everything so yeah that is what where i'm starting off so anyways i'm going to continue on with this clean i really wish i was um able to show you guys what i had already done because i already cleaned the entire walls i cleaned this ledge out, out up here or this little thing i don't know what to call it but um yeah so i went ahead and cleaned my bed and i was in the middle of cleaning the um, nightstand when the memory card read that it was full so that is where I stopped I left off so everything is pretty much cleaned up uh, my plan was to get the baseboards walls cleaned up furniture dusted and then I am going to be cleaning um, my carpet so I am going to um, start by finishing this dresser I'm gonna give it a dusting and then polish off the furniture I already removed my bedding from my bed um, I am going to go ahead and take my comforter because it is super heavy and um, it does not fit in our washer so I need to take that to the laundromat so that is where I left off I'm going to go ahead and finish um, or start off by cleaning uh, the dresser okay guys so I am starting off by clearing off my dresser and then I am going to uh, give it a good dust with my Swiffer and yeah so I was really upset about me deleting my footage I really honestly don't even know what I was thinking but if you guys have ever done this please let me know in the comment box below Okay guys, so I am back with another bucket of warm water and again, I am just using the Mrs. Meyers um, Honeysuckle dish soap, just a little bit um, in here and I'm going to give my furniture like a good cleaning using a damp rag just to get everything on before I put the polish on there. Because it is pretty dusty in here. You guys could see that, so yeah. So guys, I really do have to apologize for the lighting in here. Um, on this day, it was super cloudy and gloomy and I was trying to let as much um, natural light in as I could, but yeah, it was just a gloomy day. So I am just gonna continue on cleaning um, my furniture. Like I said, I wanna give it a good wipe down before I put the polish on. Okay guys, so when um, I started this clean, I did clean that ledge up there and look how dirty it was up there so this is what I got up um, from that area it was super dusty and gross and I did wipe it down um, with some warm water and dish soap I cleaned that whole area up there and I really wish you guys would have seen it because um, like I said I lost that footage 
So that whole area was clean on that side and over here above the um, bathroom door. So I did clean the entire walls. I cleaned all the walls in here, the baseboards and everything. I really wish you guys would have seen that, but it was just um, I have something that happened. I never had that happen. I never re um, erased footage on accident, but yeah. Here is what I where I'm at now. I'm going to go ahead and um, get everything moved out of here because, well, whatever I have left in the floors, on the carpet floors, and I'm gonna start washing the carpet. Okay guys, so before I start um, washing the carpet, I'm going to go ahead and give my furniture a wipe with the Better Life wood polish. Next, you'll see me use my invisible glass cleaner to clean my mirror off and then I'll give my picture frames a wipe down before I place them back. And as you guys can see, my little shadow Bob is here with me. He comes in and out of the room and Rosie has been upstairs sunbathing. She's a little antisocial. She kind of just stays in her place and Bob just follows me around everywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and give my walls one last dust before I clean you the don't carpet. Have to wake up yet. We can spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the and here I am giving my ceiling fan a good dusting. I almost forgot about it, but I did get it done. And I did go ahead and vacuum my carpet with my Dyson. And this Dyson has two features. It has um, kind of like just a suction feature. And I used that first to just suck up all of the dust, anything that was on the carpet. And then I used the roller feature to pick up any dog hair from the carpet before I started washing it. So this is what I'm going to be using for the carpet cleaning. I'm going to be using the Bissell Pro Advanced Oxy Deep Clean. I'm going to use this for the high traffic areas, the entrance of our bedroom. And for the rest, I'm going to use the Bissell Oxy Clean and Refresh Febreze Freshness Gain Scent. All right guys, here I am washing the carpet. And like I said, I am using the Oxy Clean Gain Scent on this side. Um, and honestly, I couldn't believe how dirty the carpet was on this side. It was pretty disgusting. I will show you guys how dirty this water was. I think the last time I washed the carpet was um, maybe last spring. I don't know. It, it's been a while, but yeah. Um, we really want to probably change this carpet out because it is like a really light color and it does it doesn't make sense um, because we live in the mountains, we are on a gravel road, and yeah, we just track in so much dirt, especially Bob and Rosie. So we are thinking about maybe getting, I really like carpet in the bedroom because um, it does get cold here, and it just makes the um, room feel a little warmer. But we are also thinking about maybe laminate floors, like wood floors in here. Um, so yeah, that is maybe a project for another day, but for now I am just going to continue on with this uh, carpet cleaning. Okay guys, here is the disgustingness from the carpet. I wish you guys could see that. I hope you guys could see like how dirty that disgusting water is. I will empty this out in the toilet just so you guys can see um, how disgusting the carpet is. I think it's looking pretty good so far. Um, this side isn't like a high traffic area, but again, we do get a lot of dust. This is something I needed to get done a long time ago. Yeah, go ahead and empty this out. We are in the bathroom emptying this out. This is from the carpet 
washing machine. Yeah, you guys can see how dirty that water is. Pretty gross. So what I went ahead and did was just go over this spot uh, one more time and then I moved on to the space between the dresser and the bed. So this is the area that I was telling you guys about that is the high traffic area for us. And I went ahead and used the Bissell Pro Advance on this spot. Um, it has the Oxy Deep Clean. And I feel like um, this side needs it a little more. And I didn't have too much of that solution. That's why I kind of just focused using that um, cleaner on the high traffic area. And then the other one with the gain, I used it on the other side. But you guys could see how um, dirty our carpet was. But slowly, you guys will st um, start to see that it is getting clean. So normally what I do um, when I have a little stain like you guys see here, that little dark stain, I can, um, I normally just leave the carpet machine, leave it right over it and just run it and it's starts to get that stain off and slowly you guys will see that little stain be removed. Okay guys, here is the water from that high traffic area. Like I said, that is the entrance to our bedroom. You can see it is pretty disgusting. So I am going to empty this out and continue on. I think I need to give this um, spot like a really good clean. But um, it's looking good so far. You can see the difference, at least I can. So yeah, this is the high traffic area in our bedroom. So I am going to go ahead and empty this out and continue on with the carpet cleaning. Okay guys, and here is that water from the high traffic area. As you guys can see how disgusting it was. Yeah, that was pretty gross. I couldn't believe how dirty it was, but I'm so happy that I got my carpet clean. Okay guys, it has been a long day. I just finished cleaning the carpet in the bedroom. In the master bedroom, I am um, heading to the laundromat. I did have to stop to take a break, pick my son up, come home, drop him off, pick the comforter up, and I am on my way to the laundromat. And then I will see you guys here in a bit when I get there. Okay guys, I made it to the laundromat. This is the wash tub laundromat. I'm going to go ahead and get down and put my laundry in the wash. So this is where I ended day one of the master bedroom deep clean. I didn't get to the laundromat until about 4.30 and I got home about 6. So yeah, I was really tired. I called it a day and I will pick back up tomorrow.
All right, guys, here we are the next morning of the master bedroom deep clean. I just wanted to show you guys the carpet. I think it looks really, really good. I might go over it one more time, um, this high traffic area. But for now, I think it is um, looking pretty good. I have the walls clean, the baseboards clean. All of the furniture is completely polished. So yeah, it is looking really good in here. And I did go ahead and clear off my um, nightstand and I cleared off the um, dresser because I have some new decor that I want to um, put in here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the um, master bedroom makeover part. Okay guys, so real quick, um, I'm just going to show you what I picked up to kind of give my bedroom a bit of a makeover. Um, I picked this up at uh, let's see, Hobby Lobby. I've had this for like a while now, but um, I really liked it. So I got this one at Hobby Lobby. And then I found this at Ross. Um, it's actually on sale for um, $5.49. And so the color of my comforter set is kind of like a kind of like a brownish beige color. I, it's kind of like this color here that you see on this canvas. So I got this canvas at Ross um, for $39.99. So I think I'm going to place this larger one above my bed. And then I got this other little canvas. Um, kind of like reminds me, well, it's like trees. I hope you guys could see. Um, and it has like that gold leaf in it. And you guys, I found this at my Dollar Tree. They are now having um, like $5.00. Um, items so this canvas was actually five dollars I don't know if I will put this somewhere in uh, my bedroom and then I got this one um, kind of like a flower pattern with the gold leaf and I think I'm going to put this one maybe in our guest um, our little powder room downstairs because it has that like green blue color on the walls so I really like that so this is a bit of the wall art that I got. All right guys, so I did get these flowers um, from Dollar Tree a while back. You saw them at my um, one of my Dollar Tree hauls. I think I'll use these, maybe, maybe not, I haven't decided. But I do have this little love sign again from Dollar Tree. And today my son had uh, an orthodontist appointment. So there is a Dollar Tree right next to his orthodontist. So yeah, guys, I couldn't resist not going into Dollar Tree. So I know this is supposed to be a clean with me, um, decorate with me video, but I am just going to go ahead and throw this Dollar Tree haul in. I got this two pack of the fragrance sachets in white rose. I put these in my uh, laundry hampers. So they just kind of help um, them stay fresh, um, like a fresh smell to them. And then I got two of these platters. They are like a really shiny candy apple red. I'm, I actually got them for Valentine's Day decor. There's my receipt. I found this cute little home sign. I am most likely going to use this for the spring. And then I got, um, picked up three of these, um, snuggadoo socks these are super soft and cozy and they keep my feet really really warm again i got three of those in the pink check and um the white what not white sorry the blue check and they have these little kind of like non-slip tabs at the bottom that's why i really like them so i got three packs really happy i found those and i got some um napkins for thanksgiving and then I got some of these candles because I am going to add some um, candles here to the master bedroom for decor. And then I picked up these really cute signs. Um, these were new. I haven't seen them before. So they um, have one that says being happy never goes out of style. And it kind of has that galvanized metal in the back. And then I got this other one that says, uh, love makes a house a home. I got this gold picture frame. 
for a picture of uh, my mother-in-law. I thought it was just really pretty and for a dollar you can't beat that price. So this is uh, the picture frame that I picked up and I got this cute little canvas kind of like um, I don't know like that geode look to it. I don't know what to call it but it has that gold leaf on it and then I picked up this really pretty I thought it was really pretty kind of like a gold iridescent um, color to it. It's a little vase. Let me see if I could get my um, camera to focus. It was freaking out on me again. There we go. You guys could see that iridescent color in it but it is a gold color and it has this little gold leaf on it. So again some decor for the master bedroom. This is what I picked up during this haul. So I was really happy with the items that I got. I am just going to go ahead and put this away and get started with the decorating part of this video. Here I am just going to go ahead and position this canvas above my bed. I went ahead and put the darker side or the darker colors to the top. It was actually supposed to go the other way around. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like it this way or should I go ahead and flip it around and have the more lighter side um, towards the top? So when we bought our house, um, we really didn't have time to kind of get into um, decorating it because two months after we bought our home, that was when my um, mother-in-law was uh, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. This is something I've just like never talked about because it is still very hard. It's really something I've been putting off because my husband just kind of lets me decorate however I want. So, um, yeah, doing YouTube has motivated me to um, get this done and you guys are just, you know, being a part of it. So I know our house kind of looks a little bare, but I am slowly getting into um, decorating it. She was only able to visit our home once before she got sick. And so, yeah, it's been hard, but... Um, I'm just sharing this with you guys and kind of taking you guys along this process of kind of decorating our home. So here I am finally decorating my master bedroom a little bit of how I wanted it to look. And so I am going to just um, start by putting that canvas above our bed and then making the bed. So real quick, I did get that fluffy pillow at Ross and these other two smaller pillows are actually from my travel trailer. And here I am just messing around with a few of the decor pieces that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Again, you do not need to spend a whole lot of money adding a little bit of decor to your bedroom or your house. And I got all of this from Dollar Tree. And over here, I did get these candlesticks um, or candle holders from my husband. He got these at the Goodwill a while back. So I am just going to go ahead and place those Dollar Tree candles on there. And then I will go ahead and show you guys how the master bedroom turned out after I have it all decorated. Alright guys, here is what the master bedroom looks like. The carpet is clean, baseboards, walls, furniture, everything is clean in here. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. In the entrance, my husband went ahead and added uh, or put this sign. Um, he hung it right up. And it says, a cord of three strands is not easily broken, Ecclesiastes 4.12. And it has that gold writing on it with a little bit of a rustic distressed look to it. I really like that sign here in the entrance. And over here, the bed is made. I added that pillow from Ross. It's kind of like a blush color with a little bit of like glitter strands in it and that other pillow that I already had from our R pod and I think it looks really cute in here. I put that um, glittery canvas above the bed and right here you guys can really see 
that glitter effect I'm going to try to get a better picture of it that way you guys could really see um, that glitter effect but I really like it right here where I placed it above the bed and then I wasn't able to find a new um, light for my night uh, my nightstand but I'm going to go ahead and keep looking for that and over here on this corner I added those candle um, holders and the candlesticks from Dollar Tree that cute little love sign again from Dollar Tree and the other sign right here that I have um, is from Hobby Lobby I've had it for um, quite a while now for um, a few years now I am the way the truth and the life John 14 6 this is one of my husband's favorite Bible verses but I thought it went really well here in this corner with these candlesticks and on the other side I added the rest of the Dollar Tree items that I picked up I put that little cute canvas again it was only a dollar with that little um, gold iridescent what is this like um, base and with that little gold leaf um, accent on it and then those little flowers are from Dollar Tree I just love Dollar Tree and I went ahead and placed that chair back I really use this chair for like to put my shoes on and then I added that cute little blush colored throw pillow and then you guys could see our view from um, our bedroom now these little um, wall pieces I had in our powder room and I just went ahead and placed them over here on this wall where you can kind of see they are like a um, bronze looking color and I just really like anything like the gold and silver and that sparkles so that is what I did over here I went ahead and placed those um, little decor pieces on this wall and over here on my nightstand, I have my diffuser going. This is my Young Living diffuser. I've had it for, I don't even know how long, like five years, maybe longer. But this is my favorite diffuser and I went ahead and added my um, RC to it. This is like really good for respiratory health. Um, so yeah, I have my diffuser going. And like I said, I wasn't able to find a new light for my um, nightstand, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep looking. I have my little Dollar Tree notebook with my pen here to write down all of my notes and I am going to be replacing this little um, night light it's not a light light it's not a night light it is a little light but it is broken and so I just need to replace that here is a better look of that canvas I really like this canvas I'm just like climbing up on the bed so you guys could get that glitter effect but I really liked it I think it looks so pretty in here so that is what I did with the master bedroom and I also gave my master bathroom a deep clean. So if you guys want to see how I deep clean my master bathroom, I will leave a link in the description box below showing you guys how I did that. And here I am just kind of showing you guys around my master bath. I do have um, a big collection of perfumes. I love perfumes. These little canvases I got at Dollar Tree a few years back. But yeah, I do like perfume so here is my collection but if you guys want to see how I deep clean my bathroom check out that link in the description box and so I did go ahead and put this succulent planter that I made in um, my master bathroom I really didn't have anywhere else to put it but this is where it's going for now um, and that normally goes on my dining room table so that is it for this master bedroom clean and redecorate with me video. I really hope you guys liked it. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that bell button so you are notified every time I upload a new video. This really helps my channel out. Remember to check out the links below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!
So come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river.